Hi friends, this video is from Intv.com. Welcome to Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video, we, we saw about what is request mapping. In this video, I'll talk about what is model attribute condition in Spring MVC. So, what is model attribute? What is model attribute? Model attribute is a Spring MVC specific annotation used for preparing the model data. I just want to repeat, it is used to prepare the model data which will be used in the controller method. Model attribute annotation can be used as the method. Method or in the request parameters or form fields to a model object. Say you have a form, you filled it, and you are clicking submit. Those parameters will be captured in the HTTP request. So earlier we used to do, we used to uh, get it from the request manually. So we'll say request dot get param, get param. But now it is done by the Spring framework behind the scene. It will populate it and it will fill it in your model object. Model model attribute methods are invoked before the control methods with request mapping are invoked. So the idea is even before the controller methods, request mapping methods are called, your model attribute should be ready and prepared. So logic behind the scene sequence is that model object has to be created before any processing starts inside the controller methods. It accepts an option value. If it does not ha if it does not have, it will take the default name. Session attributes plays an important role. Say whenever model attribute is prepared, it will be added to the session attribute. So the next time you can fetch it from the session attribute. This these are the steps. Find the appropriate request mapping method in the control. So I can give you an example here. This is the one request mapping. Then second step is examine each of the method each of the method parameters. See the, if there is any data required. Okay. So if you find model attribute the attribute and that attribute does not already exist in the model then find the method in the controller that populates the that model attribute I'll show you a picture so you this is my request mapping method and it has a model attribute hotel so we can have a separate method which is annotated with the model attribute so this method will be called if you don't have this model data will be populated from HTTP request or it will be populated from the session attribute okay so these are the three ways where I can get the data finally execute the request mapping method if you see here finally we will execute the request mapping method even before this method is called this hotel object will be prepared by the spring framework behind the scene they are doing this hope this video is useful and informative in the next video we can see what is path variable thank you and all the best